Hey guys, today we're going to be tearing apart this old yellow welder. And she's a comet, right from outer space, model 180CH. So I just checked with my welding neighbor and he said, no value there, nobody wants them. So I don't know, should we restore it or should we scrap it? I'm thinking, you know, I'll probably scrap it because I have a feeling there's copper inside. Kind of think he's right. Nobody wants this. Even though it was quite multi per pie, she was a battery charger. Six and 12 volts, low charge and fast charge. Carbon arch torch, whatever that is. Soldering for light work. Oh, I think I could find something that could uh, solder light work a lot smaller. She even cut metal. Is not crazy. Let's take a look. So, as you guys can see, that top one is copper, or the middle one is copper. So, guess what? We're tearing it apart. No restoration for this girl. So I decided to scratch the top one off, and right there, you can all see it's copper. So two out of three transformers are copper. I'm sure the third one will be as well. So now we unscrew these. There's a brass nut in there. Take the face plate off, which is just garbage, some kind of a composite wood product. Now we're going to do a little trimming. These are brass. Um, I'm probably going to have to take this bolt out. So in an old video, uh, I did a Marquis farm welder. These uprights were brass. And I just tested them. They're not sticky. So let's take a look. Well, these ones here are aluminum. Transformers and this 
Next one we do is a check. And it's copper as well. I notice this outside coil. And it's copper. It appears to be copper as well. Not magnetic, chances are. And so we'll put these transformers through Bertha. Since these plates are all loose, I'm just going, I just flip the uh, transformer over and I'm going to cut the other side now. So that was really nice. Look at all that. Nice and round. Big chunky copper all the way through it. The nice thing about Bertha is look at this sawdust. And what I do is I take a clean shop vac, I vacuum it all up. Then I run a magnet through the dust, pull out any steel and then the rest goes straight in my copper bin. Of course it'd be number two, but still, there's very, very little waste with this machine. So if you guys can at all get one, go get one. Um, and the bigger, the better, just so you can cut bigger stuff. Unless you only cut in small stuff, you might be able to get away from one from Hobo Freight, but I haven't heard good things about them, so. So normally I beat the uh, copper out of these cores, but this stuff went all delaminated. So all I'm gonna do is pull all the metal plates out. It's the easiest on this one. Unfortunately, this will have to be shredded instead of prepared, but it's still a good trade-off because there's not much work involved. That's one done. I'm going to try boiling this because this one is coated with tape. That's all it is. It's all individually coated with tape. Um, there's a little bit of tar here. You know, that's nothing to get off. But the last one I had, see, look inside. It's all, it's all tape. So 
I'm going to try boiling this. The last one, I unwrapped each individual strand of the tape off. And that was a lot of work. I might throw a little Dawn in there because Dawn works for everything. But yeah, we'll try that. Well, it appears this one is the same way, but these coils are grabbing onto it. So I guess what I'm gonna do is just take a screwdriver and kind of pry these coils away from the tin. That makes a difference. I think once we start, it won't be so bad. Let's try this side. See, it's all coming apart. Must have been just the way they built these transformers. Maybe they weren't never laminated. That would make sense that they're all taped instead of resin. If you guys know, let me know. Bleep bloop me some information in the comments. That would be awesome. But I know I would gladly give up prepared steel price if all transformers came apart like this. Because this just saves so much work. You know what I'm saying? Oops, drop that one before. This be good dishwasher stuffing stuff for the shred. Look at this stuff. Just coming apart like it's nothing. Now, would you guys done the same thing? Oh, well, that one came apart. Would you guys have done it the same way? I have a feeling you would have. There we go. There we have it. Two coils, unwound, record time. That's awesome. So I'm looking at this one. This one has a lacquer on it. So that will be straight number two. We won't even boil this one. There's definitely a lacquer on this thinner wire. So welcome back to uh, Dan's messy shop. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna weigh some of this stuff. Okay, so first of all, we've got four pieces of aluminum. And that's 13.9 ounces. Next, we've got winter work. So this is stuff I'm just gonna hoard away uh, till winter. And we've got three pounds, 1.6 ounces. Next up, yellow brass, 1.85 pounds. So next is number two copper windings. This stuff has a shellac on it and it's only from the windings. 
I had of your request that I weigh the wire separate from this, even though it goes in the same bucket. And we've got 11 pounds, 9.7 ounces. <coughs> and this tote is uh, 1, 1 pound, 4 ounces. Just so you know, so it's actually 10.5. So yeah, 10 pounds, 5 ounces. Number one copper, 8.1 ounce. So I'm gonna tear this bucket out. Because I don't know how much this other container weighs. And this is number two copper from the uh, welding cable leads. And that is nine pounds, 15.4 ounces. Uh, so this one is insulated wire. Throw it in this bucket just so it would actually stay in there. And we got Two pounds, 1.7 ounces. And this is the other copper windings at 16 pounds, 15.1 ounces. Reason I didn't measure them, weigh them with the others. This one's got kind of a tape on it. I tried to boil it off no way it's it's actually lacquered the tape is actually lacquered on i'm going to try and get number two for it but who knows what the scrap yard is going to do so i'm going to keep it separate so i hope you all enjoyed this episode of nice junk and that's what's in a comet welder and make sure you don't forget about the uh 500 beaver contest which I'll link that in somewhere, probably the description. Catch you all next week. We love you. Appreciate y'all. And that was some nice junk. <laughs>